Hello my soccer universe. Yes, we're gonna talk about my second integers in my collection. Full disclosure, I'm a Milan fan, so in order to make this I have to wear a Milan jersey. I decided to go for the same season 2021, also with the third jer jersey. To have two really, really weird jerseys for the two Milan uh, Giants. I'm also filming this, although it will post after, ahead of the Derby. First Derby in 23, outside of the Supercoppa where I expect Milan to be soundly beaten. However, I thought also, since we will be moving from a, um, uh, it's a Serie A jersey review to a Champions League jersey, a jersey review, and this is the perfect transition uh, jersey. And honestly, I have to admit, as a Milan fan, I really like this jersey. And this is weird on many, many occasions. A. It is an Inter jersey, however, that's not necessarily because Inter had had some really nice jerseys. Even as a Milan fan, I can admit to that. Uh, what is weirder is that it is a gray base color. I don't like gray. I don't like brown. I don't like gray. I have a gray jersey. I uh, bought this one. I find this was one of the standard jerseys from the 2021 season, the successful 2021 season when Inter broke the Juventus monopoly. Uh, this was part of the um, uh, third jersey range for Nike, uh, where I think most other teams had kind of a connection to a Air Max shoe. For Inter, they went really retro on this one. Um, going back to a jersey that was first worn uh, when Inter was still with Umbro in 97-98, when of course they had the big Ronaldo. Uh, for the first season and won in a very similar jersey uh, the Europa League over Lazio and I have to tell you I th the first time I saw Inter play in this gray and black and it was kind of a it was not as it was a kind of a darker gray I remember looking at that jersey and it did not make any sense to me at all why is Inter wearing this is this a different take on blue until I realized this is actually gray? Uh, it took me a while, but it totally took, took, took it back. That jersey did not make sense. Of course they won it, so it became iconic. Meanwhile, it makes sense. They had another one that has also slightly different shades, uh, more on the bluish side, I think. So I think it was in around the 2004-2005 season uh, with Adriano, where they also had such a shirt, but it was uh, great for Nike to bring that look back. What I really liked with this one is that, yes, you have the um, uh, heritage with the uh, black and gray hoops, but also the way that the uh, shoulders kind of nicely connect up with the horizontal stripes. It really looked great. And then, in addition, you have blue sleeve cuffs and you have a little bit of blue on the collar, kind of adding to uh, the overall composition. We'll look at this few more details. There are not too many details uh, up, up, up close, but I got this one in 21 when Nike had their sales. And back then, Nike used to have sales where they discounted the jersey. You know, yeah, to, to, to the end of the season, the uh, jerseys got discounted from 90 to as, you know, 70, 65 or whatever. And then they gave at the end of the, uh, of the season, usually around May, a 50% general discount on any item. And I knew that already because I got a beautiful Roma jersey this way. I knew that and I wanted to, I had I think three or four or five jerseys and I decided to get two. There was the Atleti jersey where they won the title in and I got this Inter jersey because I said, yeah, as a Milan fan begrudgingly, I actually Inter deserved to win the title that season and what's more, actually that Inter team at that point was actually likable as well. I really liked the Barella, even liked Lukaku uh, to a degree uh, at the time. So it was a really, really good team. But I would say before we talk more about the team, uh, let's look at the jersey a little bit more up close. Okay, it was also the last one where they had the old style Intercrest. And honestly, yes, I understand why they got a new one. There's just a certain class to, to, to this one. I If I would have designed the crest, I would have maybe done the same what they have done now, but I kept the lettering here and maybe get the red and the, the not the red and the black, the, 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 <laughs> <Milan fan. laughs> the black and the blue a little bit overall in. But you know, 
it uh, the old style interlogo had has a certain class that the new one doesn't have the new one looks a little bit more mickey mousey um now the logo is centralized as it should be but i find that the swoosh is a little bit hanging i mean it, it's missing something here uh in a way we have the Pirelli sponsor was also the last season with the Pirelli sponsor. So it was a huge shift uh, in terms of Inter for the look. And then you see, I mean, there is really not much more uh, to it. We have the engineered label. It is, of course, the uh, stadium version, which uh, for Nike, I actually really like. It's a very sturdy, very smooth material, uh, which I really like. I mean, of course, the Vapor version is a completely different animal in a sense but i really like if you see how this is really well cra crafted how here the black black it goes here and just where it would maybe disconnect on the sleeve you don't have it anymore so this is uh, it is really really well designed in that sense and that's what of all of all the love it. this is how you do a hooped jersey and as i said we have uh black and blue black and blue and it's kind of this bright blue as well it is empty it has of course inter milano on the little stripe here i have been toying to, to probably get a name set for me as only two that come to mind of course as i said already lukaku would be nice to have on there but i actually more towards barella because i think he is uh even uh, an even better player and actually one that i don't dislike <laughs> and like at all i think he is a brilliant player for club and for country maybe the pattern here on the back breaks but i think this is also quite 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 nice to have the v in here so yeah uh nothing more it is an xl i have taken the tags off because believe it or not i've been wearing this for a day another reason I have been worried wearing this in videos uh, a few times and it's really annoying when the tags are hanging and that, that, that was another reason. But yes, this has been worn by me. Uh, not very proud to say. I already said it. This jersey was worn in the very successful 2021 season where Inter, of course, became champions 19th time, um, breaking the nine in a row. The, of Juventus in the end it was a walk in, in the park yes in the season there was at the beginning of the season Milan and Napoli uh, uh, were kind of flying high but Inter kept in there and then I think it was in the cup there was uh, the clash with Milan where then everything went sideways uh, for Milan and in the way Inter deservedly admittedly and deservedly won that title and that jersey is part of that history of course so yeah i will probably need i honestly have have have, have, have to say i uh, you know as a milan fan i'm not very happy with getting many inter shirts but uh and inter has always been one of those few teams where i said uh, initially i will never have a georgia jersey of that the other one being Bayern, where i have now four inter have two i actually think i would like to have a classic inter home jersey like nice uh, classic inter stripes although i was really intrigued by the one from the uh season after where with the snakeskin pattern but that was more of a third jersey to me um but i actually think i should get a white one just to have all the combination you know if a classic third jersey you would i have a really nice home jersey i have to say although it is not classic inter striping i would like to have a little bit with thinner stripes and then uh, an away jersey where I'm not sure whether I should go like with uh, this snake pattern, which is nice, or whether I should go with one that has more of a, you know, traditional look, maybe in with, with, with a sash. I guess the way it will pan out, if I see one for cheap, uh, that's, that's the funny thing. While I see very often Milan jerseys in Austria, Inter jerseys are really, really not that easy to get come by, which... I wonder a little bit why that is, but it is what it is. Definitely makes me happy. Any case, please let me know what you say about this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.
拜。